Welcome back guys to another video and today I'm going to show you how to connect Awesome Miner to Mining Pool Hub and how does that everything work together and what are the profits. So the first thing you have to do is open Awesome Miner and go over here on the options and in options you have over here profit switching. So just click that and you will see many different options where you can use Awesome Miner. So you can of course use NiceHash, ZPool, Mining Pool Hub Ahosh pool and many others. So you want to disable every other pool and just keep mining pool hub uh, checked like this. So first you'll have this empty but don't worry I will, I will tell you what you have to enter here. So don't enter the same things that I did. So now we have to create mining pool hub account so we can get this data for you. So you want to go to miningpoolhub.com and create account. You will see a little sync up and just make account and then when you are done with making your account you have to go over here to hub workers. So, so just click this hub workers and screen like this will open. So over here you will see your worker name so just remove that and enter your worker name that you wanna use. So as you can see I entered uh, GTX 1060 and 6. So this means that I have 6 GTX 1060s in this one miner and over here there is GTX 181. So if you maybe have like RX 580 and you just wanna uh, enter whatever you want you can just do it like this like RX 580 and maybe like number 1 so you know that this is your first trick. But this doesn't matter you can enter whatever you want it doesn't have to be name of your GP. For password you just enter X and awesome miner won't check for your password but just keep your password as uh, X but it doesn't matter. So once you do this just click over here add new worker and you will get it added right here. So now you can see over here your worker login and your worker login will be name of your account as you registered. So if you maybe uh, made an account called like I don't know Bitcoin miner it will say Bitcoin miner dot and then name of your worker. So this is the data that we need to connect to awesome miner. So my login name is awesome miner123 and this is the name of my uh, GPU with which I wanna mine. But on this system I have this one GTX 180 Ti so this is the miner for my rig right here. So the next thing I wanna do is open up uh, awesome miner again, go over here, check mining pool so it is checked and enter this right here. So awesome miner123 dot GTX 180 Ti. So this is your login info and this is your miner name and don't forget this dot right here. So once you enter this you can just click OK and you have everything set up. So which is, you can just start mining just right click here and press start and you will start mining. But since you didn't enter your Bitcoin address anywhere where does that money go? So we have to go again back to the mining pool hub and to check how much money we are making. So to, so to check all that information you have to go over here on balances and in balances you will see every single coin that you mined and how much you mined. And when balances open you will see a screen like this. So you can see that I have many different coins right here. I have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Gold, Feather Coin, Mona Coin, Vert Coin and some other ones. And this is the difference between the mining pool hub and some miner like NiceHash. When you mine with nice hash, you are actually just selling your hashing power and the person that is paying you gets all the coins. But over here using awesome miner and mining pool hub, you are the one that actually gets coins. So you can see that I have 0 0.00027 Bitcoin gold and I have some in out exchange and some on exchange. I will explain that later on. And the good thing about this is if you don't want to sell your coins right now you can just keep them over here in your wallet and maybe sell them when they double in price, triple in price but you don't get that option with NiceHash. NiceHash automatically sells your hashing power and you get paid how much those coins are worth at that moment. But with Awesome Miner and Mining Pool Hub you can keep those coins for years and years if you want. So if you want to know the full list of every single coin that you can mine, you can just check it right here. You can see them from A to Z. So those are all the possible coins that you can mine and the awesome miner supports I think every single one of them. And now you might be confused what does this mean? Normal wallet, auto exchange wallet and on exchange. 
So, if you don't want to keep your coins that you mined, you can automatically exchange them for almost any single coin that you want. And to see all that options, just click over here on Auto Exchange, and screen like this should open. So over here you have option to set your coins to not set, so they won't be sold, or you can set them to like any coin out of this that you want. And the mining pool hub will, will automatically exchange them for the coin of your choosing. So for example, I have set them up as Bitcoin and just click over here, set auto exchange coin. So every coin that you mine will automatically be exchanged for Bitcoin. But for example, if you don't want to exchange only Electronium for Bitcoin, but you want to exchange every other coin, just click on Electronium over here off and update settings and you will change every other coin except Electronium in to Bitcoin. Now to just check all of this again, first when you mine your coin, for example, let's say that you mined one Vertcoin. So when you mine Vertcoin, it will get over here into your normal wallet. But after some time, if you have it set it up so Vertcoin gets sell, sold for Bitcoin, it will go to Auto Exchange Wallet and after that it will go on Exchange. And once that coin is sold, you will get Bitcoins in your normal wallet. So you can see that I sold some of my coins and I got Bitcoin after that. And some of my coins are like over here in normal wallet and some amount is in Auto Exchange wallet and some amounts are on Exchange. So don't worry about that, it could even take as long as one day to get your coins from maybe like Bitcoin Gold to Bitcoin. Because if not a lot of people are mining some specific coin and then they don't hit that cap, maybe they want to exchange only if they have like 10 or 20 Bitcoin Gold, then you might have to wait for a whole day to get your Bitcoins from like Bitcoin Gold coin. And the last thing is, if you want to get that Bitcoin from the mining pool hub to your personal wallet, you can just click over here on manage wallet, enter your Bitcoin address, and you can withdraw all of those coins to your wallet. That can also take like few hours, but don't worry, everything works perfectly and you don't have to worry about anything. So hopefully I explained everything that there is to explain with awesome miner and mining pool hub and hopefully you can all see better profits than just mining with NiceHash or mining on some other pools like Zpool. So see you soon in another one and bye.